Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying these video segments so far. We're gone to another little lesson here. Based on my book, Advanced Catfishing Made Easy, which is based on cracking the channel catfish code, I want to talk about something very simple, yet it seems to be overlooked. And it's something that I have extensively researched, but more over the past two years, and 2017 taught me a lot about it. And that's flow. If you're river fishing, flow means everything. And flow has two basic things. It's either rising, it's too much, which of course is at the top, or it's decreased to next to nothing. Up here on the Red River, we go to from extremes like you wouldn't believe. We fish sections of river when it's so dry, you're lucky to get through three feet of water up to the point where we get kicked out due to massive flooding. But anyway, onward and upward. Flow. I put up here on the old whiteboard, we have flow. If it's increasing, one thing you need to know is it makes channel catfish, or all catfish for that matter, very predictable. Catfish, when their flow is increasing or at an optimum flow rate, which we'll probably discuss down the way, which is the best. The basic definition is it's the point where the fish react the best to, to the river levels and flows. When you have optimum flow, near optimum flow, catfish become very predictable. They're trying to get out of the current and the channel actually creates tunnels for them to travel in. And there are certain times of the years, if you understand this, you will absolutely slam the fish. When cur current is decreased, flow decreased to next to nothing or very slow, the catfish are spread out. There's really nothing to hold them. There's nothing to put them in that wood pile. There's nothing to hold them in that hole. One thing in a river to keep in mind is when the flow is minimal, look for any kind of current, especially with channel cats. They will sit right on the front of these holes. If there's any kind of current going in, they'll sit right on the front of the holes hoping that food, oxygen, everything is. So you would set your baits right here. Now if you're in rising current, they're going to become predictable. If it gets too high, we're going to figure this river's running to the north because we're on the Red River, which runs north. But you would place your boat like right here if it's really high and spread out here. They're just getting out of the current. If it's a little on the lower side, you would find this hole on the corner or this run, and you would anchor either here or here on the back side to find those predictable fish. Understanding and reading water is a key to this operation. It's something that really can't be taught through a book or video, but it's something that can be acquired. As much as I love using electronics, if you understand how to read rivers, how to understand water, that just takes your use of electronics to the next level. Once again, if you would like to ans ask any questions, look me up on social media, at Brad Durick, at Brad Durick Outdoors. Email me at braddurick at gmail.com. If you would like to get the books, Advanced Catfishing Made Easy and Cracking the Channel Catfish Code, they're available at my website, redrivercatfish.com, or you can buy them at Amazon. This will allow you to look ahead, read ahead, find some questions, or better understand what we're talking about here on Catfishing Chalk Talk. Until next time, I'm Brad Durick.